This is lesson 3 of 16 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. Like any software, Joomla has certain requirements to get it going. And in this lesson I'll discuss these, which include Web hosting requirements FTP software and ZIP software. If you have never built a website before, it's helpful to have a basic understanding of how the World Wide Web works. Websites need a place to live on the internet. These homes tend to be high-end computers running special hosting software. Now, technically, you could do this with any internet connected computer, but you'd need to spend a lot on hardware and software to do this properly, so most don't take this approach. Instead, the majority of websites live on servers operated by a web host, which is an organisation that specialises in making websites accessible on the internet. So you will need an account with a web host and many hosts will have the necessary requirements. However, for the best experience, it's a good idea to choose a host with extensive Joomla experience. There is a list of recommended Joomla web hosts in this course's workbook. You can also find these by going to my website at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com and looking under the resources menu for recommended hosts. Most Joomla sites run on servers powered by the Linux operating system. However, they can also run on Windows servers. As the vast majority of Joomla installations run on Linux using what's called the Apache web server, these lessons focus on Linux hosting. If you're intending to host Joomla using a Windows server, then you'll still be able to follow along, but you might need to ask your host for help with a couple of issues. Regardless of who you choose as your hosting provider, you need to ensure that their platform conforms to certain technical requirements. You don't need to understand any of this, just let them know that you intend to host a Joomla powered website, and ask if their platform supports the following as a minimum. If it is a Linux hosting account, Joomla 3 needs at least Apache version 2, PHP version 5.3.1, and MySQL version 5.1. If it is a Windows hosting account, it needs Windows IIS version 7, PHP version 5.3.1, and either MySQL version 5.1 or Microsoft SQL 10.50.1600.1 or Postgres 8.3.18. Incidentally, you can set up an environment on your local computer to develop a Joomla site, but this can be a tricky process for beginners and often results in problems, so I don't demonstrate this option in this particular course. My Beyond the Basics bundle has videos on local installation. Every website needs an address, better known as a domain name. That's the web address you enter into your web browser to navigate to a website. You're no doubt familiar enough with domains, otherwise you wouldn't have found your way here. But you might not have ever bought one yourself. Although there are hundreds of places to buy a domain, start by checking with your web host. Most hosts provide domains as well as hosting, and it's advantageous to use the same supplier for both, so you have just the one contact. Installing Joomla is demonstrated in the next set of lessons, but it's helpful to get an overview now because you may or may not need additional software depending on your hosting setup. A Joomla powered website includes files and a database. There are two ways to install Joomla. These days a lot of web hosts provide what's called a quick installation. This function is available via a feature in an online hosting control panel. This may have been created by the web host but usually it's driven by a third party piece of software. You enter some basic details and the Joomla files are copied to your hosting account. A database is created and you're ready to go. The process only takes a couple of minutes so this is a great way to install Joomla. Ask your host if they provide this feature. They might tell you that they include script setups via a third party application such as Softaculous, Simple Scripts or Fantastico. If they do, check which version of Joomla is installed as sometimes these applications install old versions of Joomla. 
The second way of installing Joomla requires more work and possibly some additional software on your computer. The steps are to download Joomla, which is a compressed file. You need to extract this onto your local computer using extraction software, which I'll explain in a moment. Then you upload these files to your host using FTP software. You also need to create a database at your host and then run through an installation routine in your browser. In either case, don't let this scare you as the process is demonstrated in the following lessons. If you have a preferred web host, check with them now to see if they provide a way to install Joomla via their control panel. If so, you can move on to the next lesson. If not, continue watching as you need to understand how to use FTP and ZIP software. So, depending on how you choose to install Joomla, you might also need to understand how to use two pieces of software on your local computer. The first is called an FTP client, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. This software allows you to move files from your local computer to your web hosting account and vice versa. You might not need this to install Joomla, but you'll almost certainly need it at some point, so you might as well get it now. If you already have an FTP client and know how to use it, then stick with that. If not, watch as I demonstrate how to download and install a free FTP program called FileZilla. Open your web browser and go to FileZilla-project.org. Click the button marked Download FileZilla Client. The most appropriate choice should be automatically presented to you. If not, click Show Additional Download Options. In my case, I am using a Windows PC, so I'll download this first option by clicking on the link. Your web browser might display a warning. If so, just approve the message and continue. Once you have downloaded the file, you need to install it as you would any other downloaded software. Open the location where the file was saved. Then run the program and follow the wizard. The version I'm installing has some optional offers which I'll decline. Now this won't take too long so I'll wait for it to finish. Once it's installed, choose the box to run FileZilla, just so you can confirm that it's worked correctly. That's all for now. You'll learn how to use it in later lessons. When this course was first produced back in 2008, I included a section on how to install ZIP software. This is a utility that extracts the contents of a compressed file. Lots of programs that you download from the internet need to be unzipped, so you're probably already familiar with this process. Also, operating systems have included a zip utility for a long time, and it's therefore unlikely you need to get a third-party one. So I'm going to leave out this instruction, as it's better to use the zip function in your operating system. I'll show you how to use this at the appropriate time. This is the end of the first section of this course. The next section contains three lessons demonstrating how to install Joomla. However, you only need to watch one of them. The installation process can be challenging for beginners, but you can get a hassle-free experience from the Joomla demo site. This is demonstrated in the next video, Lesson 4. 
This provides you with a free 30-day trial, which can then be turned into a commercial hosting account, or you can move the demo site you create to a host of your choosing. Some web hosts provide a quick installation option via third-party software. In Lesson 5, I demonstrate how to install Joomla using software called Softaculous. So if your host provides this option, then jump to that lesson. Everyone else can move to Lesson 6, where I demonstrate a more traditional method of installing Joomla. Although I explained the web hosting requirements in this lesson, when it comes to Joomla, some web hosts operate a far more friendlier environment than others. For the best experience, with fewer hassles, I recommend you choose a host who understands Joomla well and supports the Joomla project. Visit my website at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com and look for the link to Resources Recommended Hosts.